We are officially entering cold season. The bubble hats on. Why they're not just gonna have them out here would be a lot easier. I've got the level set up here now just to mark clips. Obviously we're gonna have two sets of 22 mil clips running along here for the bathroom and then two sets, 15 mil clips running right down to the far end for those outside taps. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how I'm doing this. We're gonna have to solder in effect upside down. And as you can see, it's a little bit cold. And people are gonna go, yeah, why don't you use press fit? I don't use press fit. So that's all four pipe runs put in now. We've got it all elbowed up to the runs that are in the roof. We're gonna go and find a nice sandwich bar, have a nice hot sandwich or batch or whatever. What do you call it? Batch, cob. What you got? Batch, cob, baguette. Right, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. This is gonna be a really short, short intro because I am very ill. I've been ill now for probably a week or so. You'll see in the video, it is the start of me getting ill to me dur during being ill. I just feel absolute shit. And I know there's loads of it going around. It's all sort of head cold here. I'm all clammy. I'm fucking sweating now. Just, uh, just sitting here sort of thing. So yeah, I'm not feeling too great. So yeah, this video is um, about an upcoming job that we've got. I'm first fixing it, getting the hot and colds in. We've got a bathroom to do here. Uh, a different company are coming in to do the underfloor heating and the air source pumps and all that sort of stuff on this job. But we had to get there and get some pipe work in, as you'll see, and get it all ready for the boarding to go on and the plastering and then to be able to form the bathroom, the stud works and whatnot. So take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Uh, drop me a comment, hit the like button. Hitting the like button on my videos makes a massive difference. So if you do anything, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribed to the channel because there's some mega things coming up in the new year. Uh, a quick little shout out to Uni, like my sponsor. I never usually give them a proper shout out and I want to because uh, Uni, like have really sort of backed me this year, um, the way the channel's gone. And they're just a mega company to work for. If ever you've bought any of their gear, you'll know how good it is. And the customer service is great. And also, while I'm here, during December, I have got the SLR 1750 on my £50 offer. I'll put the link in the description below because a few people couldn't find it last time. But it was definitely there. So, if you want to get the SLR 1750, mega light, magnetic, power bank in it, all that jazz. I don't need to sell it because it's my go-to light anyway. 50 quid in December. Links below. So I'll leave it there. I'll let you get on with it. And hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better next week. We are officially entering cold season. The bubble hat's on. It's cold in the morning. The van gets started up 10 minutes before I get into it. So it's nice and warm. I don't know why it seems to be that all through the summer you get jobs inside. Soon as it comes winter, 1st of December today, you have jobs outside, sight work, where there's no windows and no doors, and you know full well it's gonna be fucking freezing in there. But it's just the way it seems to go. So this is what we've got to do. We've got uh, the, the plumbing side of this. We haven't got the heating, that's on renewables, air source, heat pumps, I think are going into here. And the company that are doing that, they're doing the underfloor heating as well. So unfortunately, we haven't got that. But I will take you in and give you a little brief nosy about and what's going on. So I popped my head into this job about three weeks ago as a quick overview of it to see what was going on. It's not a huge job. This is going to be a plant room. So so we've got to take hot and cold feeds from in here up into the roof. We've got to run them across. I think there's a sink unit going in here. This is going to be the bathroom. So we're going to have to drop hot and cold feeds down the end there. It's being studied and whatnot. I'll go through it shortly. I've got a stud wall here where the shower's going so we can drop in there as well and i've got to come across here as well dropping down for a hot and cold outside tap there so we're just about set up upstairs in the roof um we're going to bring two 22 mil hot and colds down here into the boiler room that are then going to go from there through the roof space and pick up sink units are going to go in there so we can drop in that corner <laughs> and then we're going to come through the back of here to feed a basin unit of twin basins that are going here this wall's being studded off, so we're going to bring hot and colds along here to the shower valves going here with the filler here 
toilet there and they're having a shower valve in a stud wall that's going up here shower valve there and the head's going to be that end so we're going to bring the feeds down possibly in this corner i've got to work out exactly where that's going to go yet and then what they also want down this far end is hot and cold dropping down here you can see i've got the level up there ready for the clips to drop down here go out there for two um, external hot and cold outside taps now obviously you're going to want to isolate those so i'm going to have to run two separate feeds back into the boiler room two 15 mil feeds back into the boiler room and drop them down there with isolation on so that they can turn off the outside taps in here if ever they need to do why they're not just going to have them out here will be a lot easier but for some reason they want them right down that far end maybe that's where the, the cars are going to be parked or whatnot so we're going to go upstairs and get some pipe work in i've got the level set up here now just to mark the clips obviously we're going to have two sets of 22 mil clips running along here for the bathroom and then two sets or a pair of 15 mil clips running right down to the far end as i said for those outside taps but it's just it's just a lot easier to bang a laser level through it all and uh screw the screw the clips all into position i've got them here to the talon clips and screw them all into position then it's just a case of clipping the pipe work in and going from there and what's nice with this job is we're going to run it all in copper we've got the copper here lagging downstairs so we'll run it all in copper get it lagged and then we know it's all right up in the roof so we've got the clips run down the majority of these higher joists at the minute what i'm going to do is get these two hot and colds in so i'm just going to solder two elbows on there poke two bits of pipe down and then we can drop them down into where the boiler room is going to be mark them up and then we can just work further down and get the hot and colds right down to the end of the building then we'll get the 22 mil clips onto the joist and run some 22 mil pipe in that are going to feed uh, the shower and the toilet and the, and the bath so we've got the elbows now soldered on we've got the two bits of pipe poking down hot on the left cold on the right now the hot on the left here is going to work out perfect for us because it's traveling all the way down right down to the far end and then as you look at what's going to be the outside wall imagine the wall being here obviously the hot outside taps going to be on the left so it, it follows all the way through and it works so that's all good what i'm going to do now is continue running the pipe work down as far as we can just in this little section and then i can come back up and get the 22 mil in and begin getting the feeds in for the bathroom. Thank you. And uh, you did well. I, I meant to get 24 again, so I'm not oh, being Mr. Consistent. You seem to have consistency as your middle name. <laughs> Let's see if you can you get three and ten. That's the big question. Oh, Let's mm. try it now. Today, the titles of three UK single chart hits. Three Four, UK single three. chart hits. Four. Radio head. No. Paranoid Android? Yes. I'm thinking of. No, that's over. No. Yeah, I think you're right there. Paranoid Android. Certainly, that's there, no problem. Other hits. Uh, top 10 hits, no surprises. Karma Tree. bbc.co.uk with your main contact details phone number please and a little bit about yourself don't forget you can catch up 
with Popmaster any day. There's a podcast at BBC Sounds available right after the show every day. And of course you can listen live. That's the 22 mil clips now run down to where they need to go that far end and then here. And what I'm going to do is the same as what I did for the hot and colds for the uh, outside taps. is just solder on two tails that we can poke down there where they're going to sit into that boiler room. So just bang a couple of elbows on, a couple of little bits of pipe. Again, mark them up. Always make sure you mark them up. And then we can get that into position, the 22 mil in the clips, and begin working out where we're going to stab down for the tails to come through the ceilings in the bathroom and in the utility room. We just flux these elbows up already, as you can see. Pump them in. And we'll get them soldered up. That's them two soldered up now. As I say, we'll now poke them in and get them into position there and get them into the clips. So, as I say, don't know if you can see it, marked hot on that one. So, we'll get that one in on the left hand side. Put the cold in on the right. them we push them down and out into the clips and we've still got enough room on them to get the lagging on shortly when we're done so we've got the 22 mil points here i've cut two sections out here because we're going to stab two 50 mil points down that are going to feed the um, the utility room below now i'm going to show you a little trick on how i'm doing this because we're going to have to solder in effect we're going to have to solder in effect upside down now what i'm going to do is again controversial i always put a bit of flux on my solder put it inside the fitting like that i know people are going to go as they always do why don't you use a flux brush i've never used a flux brush this is how i've always done it so what we're going to do is hopefully this is going to work first time is get our reducer because we reduced down to 15 mil is pop that inside there now obviously that's we're going to be soldering it that way so we run the risk of that reducer dropping out now i'm just gonna you don't need to crush it a lot just nip it a tiny little bit and then just twist the fitting inside like so and might do a little bit more than that that's it and it just turns it slightly oval if we can do it and people are going to go yeah why don't you use press fit i don't use press fit so this is how i do it then i'm going to drop 15 mil into there and again I'm sorry, pop that on that give that a little pinch like so and then twist it all and it will bite then in theory hopefully it's going to work now otherwise I'm going to look a right twat up there make sure that's vertical and we should be able to solder that now with it all in place without it dropping out so let's give it a go
cool it down. And that is how you solder up with a vertical bit of pipe that's hanging onto nothing. Now that at the minute is just poking down into the ceiling space. So then when we work from underneath, we can just cut that off whatever height we need it. And we're gonna be sending it to the left here. So we'll do the cold now, and that's them two, into position. I'm ready to move down the run. Let's pop some flux on here and here. Cold pipe, looking down. If you don't wipe it, that's when you get the manky blue and green fittings that you see now and again where people haven't wiped the fitting afterwards. So that's our hot and colds poking down now for the utility and what will feed the basin in the bathroom. And then, so we'll move down there shortly, sort them 22 mil pipes out. We're gonna send the pipes under the floor to where the shower is gonna be below. We're downstairs now. This is what is going to be the bathroom. Uh, the shower's going to go here. They're having a 1700 shower with a stud wall. I've marked the wall where it's going to be. A stud wall here. Now, what I'm going to do is bring the hot and colds across in 22 mil, which are these two ones on the right hand side. I'm going to bring them across and then down in the stud to feed the shower valve. And then what I'm also going to do is bring another two hot and colds across down in this stud here. And then these walls are being slightly studded out so we can pick the toilet up. We're gonna have the bath filler valve here. So we're gonna do that in 22 mil. And then obviously from that bath filler valve, it's gonna come round to here where the spout for the bath is gonna be. So I wanna try and get there in 22 mil, there in 15 mil, we can just stab off it. But I didn't wanna bring just two 22s across because if someone's in the shower, and then when someone starts to fill the bath up, it could have that fluctuation in the pipe work. So by just bringing it from the main run at the back, two separate pipes across, that's gonna work out a little bit better for me doing it that way. Now I went yesterday and picked up the pipe for this job. We're literally in the middle of nowhere where this job is. So I went yesterday, got what I thought we were gonna need, but I'm about two lengths of 22 mil short. So I've cut these down so that I can connect these into the pipes above and sort of get on with this bit. And then we're back um, at the moment. What day is it today? Uh, Thursday, we're back here Monday. So I can bring whatever I need out on Monday and, and finish getting that in. We're gonna cut some pipe now, get that connected up into the two feeds on the far side because the two 15 mils are for the hot and cold outside taps that are going in. So got a little bit of 22 mil. We'll trim it, get some elbows on, solder it up, and then hopefully we can get out of this little bit of the, the ceiling. So that's all four pipe runs put in now. We've got it all elbowed up to the runs that are in the roof. Now we're gonna be able to get the lagging on this bit here up to sort of here. And then that leaves Monday when I come back because the edge of the shower where the stud work is gonna go is just there. So we're just gonna have to come off the edge, obviously with some couplers and bring it down in the stud work. But it just means that we can fill this bit back in, get it all lagged and get it all sorted. Um, and then we can finish off upstairs, like in the pipe work, as far down as this point. And then this rest of this afternoon, I'm just gonna carry on getting them hot and colds further down because at the minute, they're about here. So we can just carry on getting them across. And I think, yeah, get them around here and then we can get them. I think they're gonna channel out a little bit of the wall here tomorrow because there's not much depth that's gonna be allowed for the pipe work. So, as I said, we've got all four pipes down now. The two 15s for the hot and cold outside taps. The two hot and cold 22s, we're coming in, we split them so that, as I said, downstairs, two will feed the bathroom, two will feed the shower, and the other two are obviously going down. So, what I'm gonna do now is get these lagged. I can sort of lag to here, everything back there, and then we're done up in the roof space, bar for finishing off those hot and colds going to the outside taps. So I'm just starting to lag all these pipes as far down as where we've got up to. Um, and it's just a case of cutting, obviously, cutting off 
at 45 degree angles and then it just gives a nice neater finish when you butt all the lagging up together he says as that one drops down let's see if i've got it it's just a case of cutting the end to a nice little 45 and then I'll just slide it down and it'll just finish nice and neat on the pipe work so we get the rest of these done and uh, work our way down to where the 15 mil is so I'll just do a little like that pop that on like so and then cut that off at the other angle Just slides on a tree. <laughs> so with all that lag down there now, we're now up to this point here, and as you can see, the floor drops down ever so slightly there. So just put a little kick on that pipe there. We'll put another one on this 15 mil there, and then we can just come along, drop down across, and then it's gonna drop in that corner over there. We've got the two pipes now with the two little kicks on them. And let's try and get them into position. If you've ever worked in a roof or a loft space like this, you know how much of a pain in the ass doing anything is. Right, you can clip that in there. Use that along. And that will just slide into that coupler, same as that one. them so they looking equal just for neatness there we go so there we go they're over there ah oh, for fuck's sake I haven't put it under the cable right I'll unclip that out I'm trying to do it while I'm trying to film at the same time so I'll unclip that out get it in get these soldered up and we can get this with a bit of lagging on it before we go there we go those two hot and colds are now dropping down across and ready to drop down into that room to run down in the back of the wall but as i said earlier i picked up what i thought i was going to need i've only got 22 mil lagging left and obviously this is 15 so we're gonna have to pick some 15 mil lagging up for when we come back next week just to finish off these bits here but i'm glad we got that in and that and uh, stab down to where they need to go downstairs. So it's been a couple of days since I've been on this job uh, putting that copper pipe work in and I'll be honest with you the last two or three days I've been feeling like shit I had yesterday off work you can probably hear it there's a lot of flu and that going around and I just felt felt like shit to be honest and sometimes Especially working for yourself, you can't just fucking plow through it. Big head cold, just snotty, just felt real crap. So yesterday I had, had off work, but as I said, we had to get back to this little job. As you can see today, it's absolutely freezing. I think it's minus two at the minute. Don't know what the roofers are doing. I had to stay in bed. But as I said, we just had to finish off a couple of bits in here. I went and picked some more pipe up. Uh, jumped in here this morning and just. Bought across and just carried these pipes through because as I said we were not sure what I showed you in the last video we was a little bit short with this where it was going to drop so I had to pick some pipes so I've just dropped them in because it was absolutely freezing I wanted to get these done so we've got these in got them marked up shower hot and cold other hot and cold is going to come down in this stud in here as I said the hot and cold for the toilet and the the uh, um, bath valve is going to go in there so that's so that's them done and in place i'm just going to finish lagging them and get the insulation back in and then what we've got to do is just off these hot and colds here run them across they've chopped the wall out so we'll get them 
drop down in the wall, get some lagging on them, and then that can go in. Poke out there, hot and cold for the utility sink, and then what we're gonna do is double back through there for the basin hot and cold. And then, I think I showed you last time, we've got up there, we've got the hot and colds for the outside taps, which we're gonna bring down here. Now, what I'm gonna do with them is, obviously they need to be able to be isolated and double check valves on them. So I'm gonna put them, there they are the two uh, feeds for them outside taps. So when they come to do that, they'll put isolation valves, double check valves on them. Type of thing. But yeah, it's absolutely bloody freezing at the minute. Sometimes, you know, when you just wanna keep grafting, because it keeps you warm, so yeah. So, right, let's crack on, get some lagging on that. Freeze it up, they can get the ceiling in, get the stud work up. So we've got those hot and colds now down, 22s ready for the shower and for the bath and the toilet, all up there. So that's these other two hot and colds in now. I've come across there, I'll push the insulation back up in a minute. Come across there, insulated them down the wall and we've poked out, as I always say, always mark your pipes. I haven't sort of recorded much today because it is absolutely, Baltic in this house or shell of a house um, and then we've just got left to do look you can still, still see how cold it is um, yeah we've got hot and colds now for these outside taps what I'm going to do is drill outside in see exactly where they're going to fall then we can come down in here and if we need to just chop a little bit more out just to get onto the actual tails of where the uh, outside tap's gonna be. So we'll get that done and then that's me done here for the minute. Then I'm gonna go in there. We're gonna go and find a nice sandwich bar, have a nice hot sandwich or batch or whatever. What do you call it? Batch, cob. What you got? Batch, cob, baguette. I'm gonna get some pipe work down now into this little void onto the hot and coals there for the outside taps. Now, what I wanted to do originally was to just put like a set bend in there but I can't get the angle on it so the only way I'm going to do it is by just hooking a little pipe at there hook it round like so and then we can get it back to the wall insulated, clipped and then I can connect with an elbow up onto there right just jumped up in the roof to finish getting the last little bit of lagging on, obviously with all the pipe work we put in the other day is all lagged up here and as you can see it's a little bit cold with the old uni light -like neck lights on if you're interested, a little saddening thing while I'm here if you're interested, uni light -like neck lights, 25% off MJ Tiff, you know, the, you know the drill so, might be a little bit short on the fucking lagging Right, I'm going to get that bit down, and then might just need a last little bit there. But, uh, it's one of them bloody jobs where you just think you got everything. Obviously, should have picked a bit more than I did up. But, as it's going on, again, uh, yeah, the old neck lights are working a treat up here. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, at least throughout the eaves there, I'll pick up, in fact I'll probably cut that there and put a full length in there just so it goes around them sets better, but yeah, another two length and we'll be done there. That's a pain, isn't it? Picks them up next time. So I've just jumped over to the canteen. Well, I just call it a canteen. It's organised chaos. Look, every site that I go on seems to have a canteen or a canteen, a kettle, a microwave, and a George Foreman grill. I've fired up my pot noodle, fired up a coffee, charging some batteries, ready to just get them outside taps in. And then I'm going to shoot off because it is brassic out here. Absolutely freezing. But as you can tell, look. It's absolutely freezing, I just want to get home now. I still don't feel 100%, but uh, we'll battle through. And while I've got you, just do me a favor, as it's so cold, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Hitting the like button makes a massive difference. I, I sort of tried it a few 
few videos ago to see if it made a big difference and it does so hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel get subscribed and drop me a comment below just um tell me where you're working tell me if you're working out in the in the cold at the minute because i think the next few weeks are going to get really really cold right i've just drilled two pilot holes through for where i'm going to put the outside taps now that drill bit i've put through there obviously both holes is not showing inside in the building so i haven't got my longer it's always the way i haven't got my longer drill bit on the van so it's a bit of a pain in the ass but we'll have to come back next week and just do that but to be honest it means i can get home a little bit earlier because it is bloody freezing as i've probably said about ten thousand times in this video so yeah i always I, I never usually carry the longer ones around but for some reason they must be i guess looking at that you know it is what it is right i just drilled two pilot holes through for where the outside taps are going to go and as you can see got my pilot bit there that goes all the way through but it doesn't show inside the walls are too thick for that drill bit and my other drill bit sod's law is in my lockup which isn't here so i'm gonna call it a day for today finish this next week get these drilled out get these two outside taps put on it just gives me a bit of an excuse to get home because it's bloody freezing so yeah if you enjoyed this hit the like button hit the subscribe button drop me a comment below and uh, i'm gonna go and thaw out i think <laughs>